Recently, I came across videos highlighting the insane amount of money some book publishers make on Amazon KDP selling medium content books such as coloring books. So in today's video, we will test this side hustle and see exactly how much I can make in 15 days selling specifically coloring books with the help of AI. In the process, I will be addressing critical questions people have concerning the use of AI in creating coloring books such as AI creates grayscale coloring images. How do I fix it? It takes time to get images with AI anyway to make it faster. And it is difficult to get the same colored images on the cover as the images inside the book. What is the possible solution? All these questions will be answered and make sure to stick to the end of the video to know how much I have made so far. The first major step is to create what I call a reference board. This board aims to answer important questions like what niche do we need to focus on? The competition within that niche because we don't want to get into a highly competitive niche and the chance of making organic sales is almost impossible. To help determine that we need to look at and evaluate different keywords and identify books in the particular niche. While we are doing that, we will identify the categories where these books are listed, then dimensions of the books and the number of pages they have. Finally, we will note the book price and possible profit. You might ask, what is the essence of this? The essence is that we don't want to create a book that will not sell or else it will all be wasted effort. Also, when it's time to publish our book, we will already have all the information we need. To get started with the niche, I will be using a couple of KDP tools, starting with BookBolt. You can use the link in the description to follow along. It is free to use for the first three days and thereafter, you will need to choose a plan, but I have a discount code as well that help you save some money in the description box. Sign into the book bolt. I will click on the cloud button. On this page, I am trying to find the best sellers for coloring books. Head over to choose top 200 bestsellers and for category, choose coloring book and leave the rest as it is. Then click on search. The result will be loaded and the good thing about BookBolt is that it tells you important information about the best sellers. Like when the book was published, the price, estimated sales, and even the book description. Just by scrolling through the results, you will notice that the designs for the best sellers are simple, bold, and easy. This is the strategy we'll be adopting for our book. Also, you will notice words like stress relief, relaxation, adult, teens, and cute. Keep that in mind. After looking at the best sellers, next is to look at keywords and see ones we can use. Click on one of the book titles and it opens the book on Amazon. Before we start looking at keywords, let's quickly find other information we need to have on our board. Looking at the book, it says the dimensions to be 8.5 by 8.5 inches, but we will be using 8.4 by 11 inches. A total of 110 pages with 52 drawings and others blank. In our case, we will create 40 drawings on the category. Go to see all the details. At the base, you will see the three categories where the book is listed. And I also use another KDP tool called BookBeam to know the exact hierarchy. Copy all this information into our reference board. Once that is done, on the same page, we will type stress relief coloring book for adults bold and easy. As we are typing using the Chrome extension of BookBeam, it will start expanding to other words, which you can also review and see if it meets the requirement. Just from the search, you could see the result is about 1000 results and the search volume is way higher. This means we have more demand than the available books targeting this keyword, which is very good. So help us get the additional six keywords we need when publishing our book. I will use the BookBeam keyword research tool in the box type in the word we initially searched and click on find keywords. Over 100 keywords will load and we quickly find ones that have reasonable search volumes in comparison with competitors and also have good opportunity and demand scores. To get more information, 
just click on see more and it will give you the meaning and breakdown of what you are looking at. Using the same strategy, I looked at related keywords and I was able to get these keywords and choose a niche to focus on. I also decided to get a screenshot of the front and back covers of some bestsellers for inspiration. This is to help when I am designing my book's front and back cover. Now for the price, use the link in the description to bring you to this page. Input the necessary information. In our case, we will be making $1.95 per book sold for selling in the USA market. You can see other profits if sold in those um, markets. You can always experiment with your prices and see what works, but I will use the price close to or even below my competitors. Our reference board is complete. It is now time for us to design our book, both the cover and interior, and we will be creating a bold and easy animal coloring book. If you are finding value in this tutorial, kindly hit that like button and the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification to know when I post a new video. Thank you so much. I will start with creating the interior images, which brings me to answer the first two questions I raised at the beginning of the video. To help us solve all of that, I have found an AI tool that can create bold and easy coloring pages with no grayscale at almost the first trial compared to how much time it takes to a reason create reasonable images with other AI tools. The tool I am referring to is called Zine AI, formerly known as Stylar AI. It is an all-in-one online design platform which provides a plethora of tools for multiple use case scenarios such as AI photo filtering, creating consistent characters, product photography, and so much more. But for today, we will be using the coloring book tool. Signing into the website, you'll be greeted with a simple and organized interface with the project canvas option, the AI tools, and different AI styles. Scroll down and look for the coloring book section. Since we are creating images that are simple and big, I will use this option, Linescape. Clicking on it, it opens up a design page where you can name your project or change the canvas size. I will leave it as a square and name the project so I can be organized. On the left hand side, you will see the text to image bar and this is where all our settings will be happening. First is to type in the prompt of the first animal we want to create, which will be a bird parrot this is the prompt i used i will leave it in the description box in case you want to make use of it for the intensity i will take it all the way down to none and i will explain why during my testing i noticed that if you take the style intensity to zero it gives the image a more defined and clear outline but if to take it up the image will be very light which is not what we want let me show you Click on generate and four images will be created by the extreme right of the page. And when the images load, it also provides you with the opportunity to create variations of the one you like. Once I found the one I liked, I double click on the image and it will be placed on the canvas. As you can see, I already have three beautiful images I can use right away with any further adjustments. It is bold and don't have grayscale. Let me show you what the image looks like when when we increase the style intensity. As you can see, the results of the images are very light and too simple. So play around and see the amount of style that works for you. For me, none works. There are other coloring book style formats. You can try like simple, playful, which gives the image a bit of background elements. It all depends on what you are creating, but for the type of coloring book I'm creating, I will stick to landscape style. If you want to generate other images, all you have to do is change the parrot with the next animal you want to create and generate. This is how I was able to generate all my 40 images. Once your image is ready, before downloading, I like to upscale. Click on the enhance button and choose the strength. I will use high and click on enhance. It will take a few minutes, but once it is done, you can see how enhanced it looks. Click on download to save 
the image, repeat the same process for all the images. Before we leave the zine so we can start putting our book together, I need to address the last question of having different images on the cover and in the interior. There are two ways I found that can solve that problem. The first is to use image to image function in Design AI. Click the image to image button. For the style, I will use stylized for now. I find it to work for my taste compared to other styles. For the prompt, don't select auto prompt. It will make modifications to the image. Copy and paste the original prompt that created the image and add it at the end multicolor and black outline. Style intensity, use medium 0.5, structure match, take to the end of the recommended range that is very similar, leave everything other as it is and click generate. Once you have the image you like, which might be a result of multiple trials, go ahead to enhance it and download it. You can do this for all the images you want to use as part of your cover image. As you can see, this image is exactly what we have both for the interior and cover pages. This tool is free to get started. However, if you want to use it commercially, you might have to upgrade to the monthly plan and they are currently offering 50% off your subscription, which is only available for the next four days. You can use the link in the description to get started. I assure you it is worth the investment and it will save a lot of time. The last method is just to go ahead to create colored, high quality images of animals in your interior. It might not be the same, but what you need to understand is on Amazon KDP, it is the book cover that sells books. So the more the cover sides out from your competitors, the better. Next is to put our book together and I will be using Canva. But before we open Canva, we need to get the book cover dimension. Head over to Amazon KDP cover calculator, input all the necessary information and click on calculate dimension. You will give a pictorial explanation. Just go ahead to download the template. Looking at the image in the folder we downloaded, we will be using the overall dimension. Head over to Canva, click on create design, click on custom size, change the width and height to the right values and make sure the unit is in inches. Click on create new design, upload the image template, place it on the canvas and make it transparent. We will be using it as a guide. Then I will go ahead to place the images and the text for the front and back using the image in our reference board as a guide. Once the cover is done, click on share, click on download, change the file type to PDF print, choose to flatten PDF and choose CMYK as the color profile. Then click on download. Next is to create the interior. Head over to this page where we are going to find the page size with bleed, which is this. For the margins, we will use the values under the page count between 24 to 150 pages because our pages is 85. We will use inside margins and the use the outside margins with bleed. Head back to Canva, click on create design and click on custom size, change the width and height to the right values and make sure the unit is in inches. Click on create new design. Then go to file, click on setting and click on show rulers and guides. Then drag the ruler to the margin of 0 0.375. It is better to have more margin than under. Then create a box that fits at the margin, place it on the other corners of the page and drag the ruler to fit accordingly. Then add a black border to help with the guide. We will be creating our design within the box. Make sure to duplicate this page for all the remaining 84 pages. 
For this page, place the first image and remove the background. Resize accordingly, but for this coloring page, I would like to add a few additional elements to even make it more unique. Head over to the elements and search for under the sea coloring. Then look for elements that will fit the animal on the page and add to the page. Do the same for all other images. Remove the border and the squares. In between each image, make sure there is a blank page. Next is to create the information and who owns the book page. To save time, let me show you have the one I created earlier. Now we are good to go. Click on share, click on download, change the file type to PDF print, choose to flatten PDF and choose CMYK as the color profile. Then click on download. Now we have the book cover and interior downloaded. It is time to publish the book. Next, head over to Amazon KDP website and open an account. I already opened one, but if you don't have one, go ahead and open one. Next, click on create and another page will open up. Click on create paperback. We will be using our reference board to fill out all the required content under details. For the book title, stress relief, coloring book for adults and kids, cute animals with easy, simple and big designs for relaxation. For these, I will leave it blank. For the pen name, I will use Mac Publishing. Contributors, I will leave it blank. Description, I already prepared one. Make sure it's also keyworded. I will just paste it. Publishing rights, select the first option. Primary audience, no. Primary marketplace, choose amazon.com. Categories, I will go ahead to add the ones from our reference board. The same goes for the keywords. date select the first option release date release my book for sale now click on save and continue under content for isbn click on assign isbn for print options choose black and white interior for trim size select 8.5 by 11 inches bleed settings bleed pdf only paperback cover finish choose matte i prefer it manuscript upload the interior PDF book cover, upload the book, cover PDF, AI generated content, select yes. For text, select none. For images, select the last option because we made adjustments to add some elements and texts ourselves. For the tool, write Zine AI. For translations, none. Book preview, launch the previewer to be sure that there is no error anywhere. Once that is done, head over to rights and pricing. For territories, select the first option. Primary marketplace, amazon.com pricing, $7.99 once everything is filled out. I clicked on published and the book was sent for review for three days. Thereafter, the book was live. Now to what all you guys are waiting for, how much have I made so far? Heading into my royalty dashboard at the time of recording, I have made a total of $43.15 in royalties. That is after all the costs and fees have been deducted. I started this test at the beginning of the month, the first four days after the book went live, no sale. Then it started picking up and still picking up. Will publishing a book on Amazon KDP make you rich overnight? The answer is no. But the results from this test show that there is a potential to grow it into a business when you apply other steps like publishing more books, advertising both on Amazon and social media. And in addition, have your website and sell there as well. Amazon KDP is just one business model. There are many more that I will be testing. To stay in the loop, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notification to know when the next video goes live. For another interesting side hustle you can start today, check out this video and I will see you there.